In the 1800s, the Blessed Mother appeared to three children. She often does that throughout history. And uh, she uh, wore the garment of the time. It was in La Salette in France, middle of the 1800s, about the time we were going through our civil war. And she was crying. And that's all that she did was cry in these visions. Then she held up a crucifix, and on it was, of course, the body of Christ. But on the crossbeam, past the uh, pinned, nailed uh, hands of Christ, was a hammer and a pair of pliers. And the boy, the two girls and a boy, the boy, the, they didn't speak until the boy, out of just his curiosity, said, what are they for? And Mary then spoke and said, they had to use the hammer to drive the nails into my son's hands. And then others came to take his body down. They needed the pliers to yank the nails out of his hands. And she said, it's up to you. Do you want to use the hammer and crucify my son again and again by your sins? Or do you want to use the pliers and try to remove sin out of your life and the life of the world? It's called the La Salette Cross. It speaks volumes, not only about the physical aspect of how he was pinned like an animal on a cross and taken down lovingly and put in the arms of his mother at his death, but it also speaks about what we're supposed to be about and what we're not supposed to be about. We all know that we know how to, they say now, push somebody's buttons. And we do it sometimes to create more havoc or trouble. Well, they knew how to pin him down, tight and hard. We also know what we are capable of doing to try to diffuse a situation, especially in family life certainly true in the life of our country. So once again, it's a question of a choice to be on the same page with Christ and to try to be about one and not the other. And even if we do the dark thing, we can always try to undo what we ourselves have done with the pliers of an, an apology, an openness to another person. Christ is still crucified today, not physically, but he is often mocked and scourged terribly, sometimes even by silence in a house or in letting something go in the extended family for generations or between ourselves and someone uh, in our life, at work or wherever. It's all up to us. We can be um, a soldier driving more trouble into the hands of Christ, or we can be the friend that released him from the bondage of the cross and be about reconciliation. It's always up to us. May God bless you all.